I'm not giving up. If this doesn't work, I'm going to have to just pre-record. It doesn't look like it's working. Three people think it's working. Five people think it's working. I've signed out, I've signed in, I've tried different browsers, I've tried different computers. Maybe I'm on Facebook probation. Maybe they just don't like me anymore. I'm trying to see. Do, do, do. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to pre record this one. Which is lame, because I like talking to you guys, and it's way weirder to just talk to myself. Although, I guess I'm always talking to myself, but. It's not the same. <sighs> okay. Attachment unavailable. Facebook, you are so rude today. Comments on your post. Sam, does that mean it's working for you? Every time I load it, maybe I'll just put it in a different, maybe I can load this in Firefox or something. Load the comments. I and mean, if you guys can hear me at least. Okay, so Sam's, why can I not see this anywhere? I don't understand. I tried opening that link that you just sent me in Firefox and in Google and maybe we can put it on, oh, somebody, you more comments. Trying to computer, blah 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 blah. See if people can click that on that one. Okay, so the only way I have been able to see myself live was I just posted my link as a comment on my tips and tricks thread. Okay. Whatever. I'm there here. You guys can see me, so I guess we're just going to have to kind of roll with it. Lara's getting unavailable. Ugh. Okay, um, I guess I will just talk to the people that are here. We'll do a semi-quick rundown. I won't do like an hour-long thing, I guess, and then I will re-record it and post a link later. But, you know, I was going to do this whole thing where I was talking about, yay, I'm back, you know. Um, and, yeah, Amanda Graham can't see anything. Page required cannot be displayed. <sighs> I'll pre-record also, but... Um, hold on. Complimentary thing. I've got 36 people that can see me. I think Facebook wants it to be on Wednesday. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, for the people that are here, I guess, you know, hey, I'm back. It has been a ridiculous year, um, and I totally appreciate everybody putting up with me. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lisa Mitchell. I am the owner of The Shop Doc. I do all kinds of um, shop critiques and stuff for people, and I come on every Tuesday on Club Flourish, and I try to give you guys some tips and tricks about how to keep your business running. Um, the only down part is right now I cannot see your comments, and I don't know if I will ever be able to see your comments. So if anybody has anything you absolutely need to say to me, like I'm awesome, feel free to PM me. Um, other than that, all I can see is your little hearts and likes and whatnot, and that's pretty cool. Um, some of you know that, you know, I started out this year with a gallbladder removal, and then uh, six weeks later, I had an appendectomy, and now 
Uh, it is seven weeks later, and I have a hernia. So the rest of the year is still going to be kind of sketchy as to when I can or cannot post. I'm trying to um, prolong that having to get the hernia surgery as long as I possibly can. Um, the I, I'm working with my surgeon on it. He knows. Um, but we're, we're trying to make it wait because I want to heal up. But in the meantime, I'm back for Tips and Tricks Tuesday. Tips and Tricks Tuesday. We're going to talk about all kinds of stuff today. Actually, we're not talking about all kinds of stuff today. Today, we are talking about the new dashboard. And I wanted to run down how uh, Facebook is... I meant... See, my brain is stuck on Facebook now. Um, yeah, no, that link didn't work either. Jo uh, Jodian. Nobody's link works for me. The only way I can see myself is in that comment, that link I posted as my comment. Ashley, you can come out, honey. And because I took so long trying to figure this out, my daughter's awake. Um... So, what I did want to talk about, what do you want to watch, honey? I can, Casey right there. Yeah, Casey's on the couch. Hand me the remote. It's over here. Right there. Um, what I did want to talk about is the new dashboard. Some of you hate it. Some of you love it. It's, uh, nobody likes change. Especially us business owners. Change is not fun. I, myself, am a creature of habit. Um, my husband has tried to help me change a thousand times, not my personality or anything, but trying to change my, like how I run the business. He tries to fix things and, and be more efficient. And I'm always like, no, I do it this way for a reason. And he's like, well, you should do it that way because it's more efficient. And I'm like, no, that's never going to work. And then I eventually cave and it totally works and it works faster and better. But anyway, I'm always reluctant to change. So a lot of people don't like this new dashboard. They like the old way because it was simple and it gave you everything right in front of your face. But there are lots of benefits to this new... Sorry. Ash, what do you want to watch, honey? Uh, Sophia. Sophia? Yeah. Okay. Your juice is still on the table if you want it. All right, I'm going to turn it down a little bit, though. If you want to hear it, you can go sit closer. Okay, so let me try to pull up. Do, do, do. Tell you what, if people have. Hmm. Okay, um, so with the new dashboard, there are a few things that they are changing, and I just kind of wanted to do a quick cap on that. So if you guys wanted to pull up a second web page, um, or if you're looking at this on your phone and you want to pull up your computer and pull up your own web page so you can follow along. Come along, class. Let's pull this up. Put it over here. Because since I had to do a thousand things, I'm now completely unprepared. And shop manager. Okay. So, this is what Etsy says. Etsy says, thanks for trying out our new stats tool. We have designed the new stats to give sellers a better understanding of trends taking place in their shop and other channels over time. Shop performance can change from one day or one week to another, but short-term changes don't indicate meaningful trends in your shop. We encourage you to check out some of the longer time frames to get a better idea of trends. And this is absolutely true. You guys should absolutely be looking at your all-time stats for um, awesome keywords that you guys could be using because um, anything that it shows you as a keyword, your top keywords, those are words that people specifically typed in the Etsy search bar and landed on your shop. So definitely check that out. Make sure you're looking at your all-time stats. Uh, 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 just checking things. Okay. Uh, so what is new with this dashboard? The data for all your channels. Apparently, if you, I don't have Etsy pattern, I don't have wholesale, and I don't have studio. But you should be able to see them all, all the channels in your new dashboard. Uh, new visualizations and data about your social media listings and customer interests. More accurate data with bot and spam activity filtered out for you. Um, and a new metric, visit, visits, which show the number of people looking at your shop and items. And it's going to update every three to five hours. So if you get a sale or if you post something as a social media post and your people are telling you that there's lots of activity, um but you're just not seeing it reflected on your stats yet, sometimes it needs to update. They said that they're changing their updates to three to five hours. It's not always going to be instant. Um, 
And this is to make sure that the stats are more accurate and that they show visits. Um, the ability to show your own time zone at the bottom of explore your data. I actually missed that line last time I read it and I had no idea that I could show my time zone. That's going to be really cool. I'm trying to figure out where they have that. Is it on the dashboard? I'm trying to explore some of this. I tried to find a lot of this stuff. I've been looking at it over the past few days. Um, and some of the things I think they haven't rolled out with yet, I'm pretty sure that this is just their like blurb of everything that is to come and that they are slowly rolling these things out. Um, like some people still don't even have the buy now button. They release things in batches. Um, but the buy now button is coming. So what is the difference? They are doing this new thing. There is a difference now between views and what they're adding is visits. Visits are the new metric we include to help you understand your business and seize opportunities to make more sales. A visit represents someone who took a long look or someone looking at your shop. It could be the visitor looking at just one page or a series of the person loading different pages in your shop, ending after the person hasn't looked at your shop in 30 minutes. Measuring stats in visits is an industry standard across many selling platforms. Uh, the former stats experience only measured views. Views represent any time your listing or shop page was loaded, while a visit represents the person browsing your shop. While you can see views, we encourage you to measure the visits. Because there's going to be a difference between a view is just somebody clicked open, and I think it's like three to five seconds, as long as the tab is open for three to five seconds, looking at your listing, looking at your shop, that counts as a view. Now they're saying if that same person clicks from one listing to another listing to another page to a shop section to your about page that is not going to count as 17 different views it is going to count as one visit and that lets you know that people are lingering in your shop and this is good this means that you got their attention um, and it's going to help tell you whether that's going to resonate in a sale or if there's a reason why they're lurking and just didn't find what they wanted and left um, these are a few reasons your stats and you might be seeing lower stats. I'm just going to put this up. Okay. Um, stop it with the notifications. We're measuring data in visits. Um, I just read that. Since people, oh, okay. A visit represents someone looking at browsing at your shop. Since people often look through multiple pages, your visits may be lower than what you're used to. We encourage you to track visits because each visit represents a potential buyer. And stats now refresh every three to five hours. Refreshing at a slightly slower rate allows Etsy to calculate views and visits and better filter out traffic from bots. I didn't even know Etsy had traffic from bots. I've been doing this for six years. And it, I mean, I know that there's bot traffic on Instagram, there's bot traffic on Facebook, there's bot traffic on Twitter. I did not know it was on Etsy as well. Um, so you may receive an order or a favorite without seeing it. your stats change immediately. This does not mean your stats are inaccurate. They just haven't updated yet. So no freaking out about Etsy glitches. No saying, oh my God, things aren't working. No saying Etsy's down. Are you trying to get my attention? No. You're just playing whistling? You're a goof. <laughs> um, and today is no longer counted when looking at a date range. So if you're looking at a specific period of time, like the last 30 days, the last day and those 30 days start yesterday. So if you make $300 today and you look at the last 30 days stats, today's $300 are not included in the last 30 days stats. Um, you can now set your own time zone. Previously, stats were set to Eastern Standard Time Zone because Etsy is in the Eastern Standard Time Zone. They're in New York, I think. Um, now, wherever you are in the world, you can set your own time zone. This means that the midnight cutoff point between yesterday and today, it may be different from your old stats. So it might take a little bit of getting used to um, because the stats for the last 30 days and whatnot are now going to be at midnight your time zone. If you set your time zone. Uh, we designed the new stats experience to help sellers better understand their business is performing and opportunities to grow. We know based on international, in sorry, internal analysis that favorites do not correlate with sales. You can see your favorites in the listings tab. Organize, organize your listing favorites by clicking on favorites next to all listings ranked. 
Okay, so let's go listings. And sort by... What's up, babe? Look at Casey. You covered Casey with your blankie? Now she's walking. Now she's walking? She loves that babe. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to see. You can see your favorites on the listings tab. Can you? I don't see all my favorites. I see views. I see the zeros and favorites or the favorites on each individual listing. Organize your list. I, like, I want to have something to eat. You want to have something to eat? Uh, do you want some more nuts or do you want a banana? Can you bring me the pile of banana, or the bundle, whatever they're called, the bunch? Um, more filters. Sections. Nope. Shipping profiles. Nope. I don't see how to filter it by favorites. See, this is why I'm kind of confused. I don't know if my shop just doesn't have all of these things yet. All right, put these back. A hungry kid waits for no one. They are heavy. But you know what that means? What? That you're pretty strong. Yeah, hello. What are those lights for? Oh, it's for one of my jewelry lines I did last Christmas. All right. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. Um, okay, so using stats, I don't know why I can't see, and I can't even see your comments if you guys are being like, Lisa, you're being stupid. The click is right there for favorites. I can't see it. Um... So, using stats to improve your shop. The new stats is supposed to give you a deeper... Wow, they really are repetitive in this. They could have made this like a paragraph long. Um, the other thing that I'm not seeing is they say that there's a new customers section. And I looked, and I looked, and I looked, and I cannot find said customer section. But it could be one of those ones that they said they're going to be continuously rolling things out. Because this customer section is supposed to provide information about your potential buyers and what they're interested in. And I want to know how this is going to work. Because you can see where your customers are coming from. The devices they're using, because when I do shop critiques, there's a huge difference in customers that shop on cell phones versus customers that shop on computers. Um, you want to make sure you're maximize, maximizing your listings to benefit both people. But if you can see that clearly none of your competitive, none of your customers are coming from the mobile, then that's that's good to know. That's going to give you more information about your target. Um, the devices they're using and other items that they've searched for. So maybe I don't understand how it's going to do that. But understanding trends in your buyer's behavior can help you take action in your business. For example, you might consider offering international shipping if you notice an increase from international visits, which is absolutely true. Uh, maybe you're saying, I don't get a lot of international sales, but if all of a sudden you see that you're getting a lot of international visits and you have international shipping turned on, that means that your international shipping prices are too high because people are coming from international, they're not liking it, and then they're leaving. Whereas right now, we don't know. Um... You could switch up your tags if you notice your buyers are searching for terms you haven't used that are relevant to your items. Or if mobile visits increase without an increase in sales, you might optimize your shop for the cell phone. So this dashboard that people don't like, it's really going to be fantastic. So the pieces that I have right now, um, I've got the new dashboard set up. I've got the regular dashboard that says open orders. I personally love the fact that it shows my unread convos right there in the dashboard and that it shows um, recent activity. It shows items that are about to expire. Um, it shows two minutes ago somebody favorited my item. Eight minutes ago somebody purchased something. Two hours ago somebody left me a review. I love that. This just gives so much information. Um, I'm going to change my stats to today for the over... Actually, stats can keep today. So yeah, let's do last seven days for the shop overview. It shows me my open orders. It shows me um, how, many are, how many items I have that are expired, how many I have that are sold out, how many that are active. It's just It gives you a, a plethora of information. 
um, how many orders I've had in a week. What is that compared to the past, the previous seven days? How is it compared to a year ago? This is such vital information. Um, let's see here. Listings page looks the same to me. Conversations tab. <coughs> Excuse me. Conversations looks the same. Don't forget to make your little convo snippets. Um, it's really going to help. Any, a snippet is anything that's, you know, a pre-typed um, but professional customer service reply, whether it be, um, like, I constantly get asked, I bought this four days ago, I don't have it yet. 99% of the time when I check that order and it's a person asking about shipping time, it's an international order because they don't understand that international shipping is 10 to 15 business days via USPS, not including weekends. So I have that whole thing typed out and then I just personalize it a little bit or, um, hey, does this come in more than one color? Or you sign makers where customers say, you know that sign you have that says Mitchell for the last name? Can, can I get my last name put there? Can I, can I do that? It's like, no, you got to marry a, last, a guy with the last name Mitchell. Of course you can get your last name put there. That's the whole point of this listing. But you're not going to tell that to the customer. You're going to say, sure, I can absolutely customize this listing for you. Make a little snippet and you don't have to keep typing it out every time. Uh, open orders. That, I believe, is the same. Yep. Oh my goodness, maybe it's my internet being so wonky. Which is ridiculous, because I have a 100 meg connection. I paid too much money for it to be this dumb. Okay, so then, now, the only thing that's a little bit different is they now also have your finances. <gasps> oh my gosh, comments just popped up. I see Marilyn Bates just said that I'm funny. Oh, I see comments. I know Lisa can't see our comments here, but does she know? Does anyone know on the new dashboard how I can edit my FAQs? So happy I can see comments on your videos. I can never see comments on Sarah's. <gasps> I'm so excited. I see you, but it's frozen. What am I doing wrong? I couldn't tell you because it's taken me five tries just to get you guys to see this. Where can I set my time zone at? Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Whole new ball game here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, can I see my own video? Nope. Oh, oh, oh my god, I see me! Okay, all the comments? Yes, hi, yay! Hi, Jen, hi, Jennifer, hi, Jodian! Okay, sorry. I'm, no, I'm not even overreacting. I'm really excited. <laughs> okay, yeah, good. This means I don't have to pre record this. Okay. Okay, so now I can even post the article I'm reading. What? What? Yeah! Okay. All right, so let me scroll up then. Somebody asked how to change the time zone. There's a button for that. Uh, you go to... Um, doo -doo -doo. How did I get here? Okay, so that article that I posted, if you click that article, there's a, a blue link in it that says how to change your time zone. Um, and it's going to auto open up the page for you. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Okay, yay, best day ever. I can't see the other comments. I don't know how high I'll be able to scroll to see the comments, but I'm just excited that I can see something. We can interact. Yeah! Okay. Okay. I was so excited to do Tips and Tricks Tuesday today. Like, I haven't done it in forever. And I was, like, amped up. And I was incredibly nervous because, you know, it's been a while since I've done it. And, you know, these things, they get easier with time. But then when you don't do it for a while, it gets hard again. And so I was really, really scared. And then on top of being anxious and nervous of posting, then I was having uber technical difficulties. And now all of a sudden I'm here. Yay! Aw, oh, Nicole, I love you too. Thanks, Carolyn. Caroline? God, I never know which one it is. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm collected. All right. So. Okay. All right. All right. I swear. I'm cool now. All right. So underneath stats is where they kind of add, uh, I don't have most of the things you're talking about. Um, there is, if you open up your... Uh, 
stats page, there should be like an orange banner or something that says um, use new seller tools. I will try to see if I can find that right quick. And how do I want to search this? What's up, babe? Hey, Mom. What, love? I want to wear this. Um, I cannot change your outfit right now, um, but after I get off this, I will change your outfit, okay? Thanks, love. Hey, can you let the cat out? Yeah. Yay, people joined! Yeah, I'm so excited. Okay. 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 Learn more about shop manager. Huh? I'm gonna hang this on the door. Uh okay. Alright, see how many of your listings, unpaid orders, shop dashboard. Um right now we're in the process of launching new shop manager. A new layout for accessing your shop tools. No, it's okay that you're late. There was all kinds of stuff going on. Um Hi Jessica! Okay, uh do do do. Learn more about Shop Manager. I'm trying to see if I can find a link. Got it. Thanks, love. You're Mid broadcast, it froze. I restarted and my Facebook updated the layout on me. Maybe you just had it timed. That's entirely possible. Huh. Um. All right. Let me see if you guys can. This article might help you guys. For those of you that don't have the new dashboard yet. And you can still temporarily, those of you that absolutely hate the new dashboard, there is um, a button on the bottom left that says use old seller tools. But, um, yeah, the stats is, I think they're slowly rolling out more info, but you can go back to the old stats manager temporarily, but they are going to roll this out permanently. So even though you might not like it, it would be in your best interest to take advantage of trying to get to use it now. Um, so that when they do roll it out permanently, you're not like left behind or nothing. Um, okay. Yeah, some people love it. Some people hate it. I didn't like it at first, but that's like I was saying as I'm a creature of habit. Um, and I, I don't, I don't like change. Yeah, there should be um, somewhere, if you click your stats or something, there should be an orange banner um, that lets you try out the new, sh you know, try new shop manager. Because um, there's also, they've got all your finances is a pull down. <laughs> um... Try that link, that, that article that I clicked. It might be able to let you go clink it. Clink it. Click it. It is something that um, they're slowly rolling out. Aw. I'm sorry, Jessica. But when they do roll it out, it's going to be exciting. And there's some things, even in the article, that they haven't added yet, like the customers tab. Um, it's just they're going to be providing more and more information. Um, your promotions tab is over here. Your production assistance you can add, um, and then people want to know the hardest thing that people have been wondering is once they open this dashboard, how do I get back to my Etsy homepage? Like, what do I do? There's, uh, oh, you don't have it yet, yeah, Laura? Lame. Um, but there's a little orange thing that says Etsy. It's a little Etsy orange square that you should be able to click, and that will take you back to your shop page. So you can look at how your shop looks. Um, the only thing that I have not been able to figure out is, and I don't know if this is just like sometimes I find the long way around things when there's like a shortcut. The only way I have been able to find out my purchase history, my personal purchase history, is I have to click the Etsy button that takes me back to my storefront. And then there I can click the little drop down menu. What, love? I will be right back. I need to vacate the premises for a second. My daughter needs assistance. Two seconds. I am not closing this down and trying to reboot this all again. So, you know, just go get a beverage. Go get you some water. Um, I'll be back in two seconds. <laughs> And we're back. 
All right, you meant dashboard. How do you get to the banner? Oh, you meant dashboard. What? Really like the new dashboard. Right? Working home from kids. Wow, oh, with kids. <laughs> it's awesome. I get to look so professional. <laughs> okay. Um, do you mean to... All right, mom life for sure. Yeah, mine is still napping magically. I don't. I don't know how how he sleeps. How he's sleeping. Um, yeah. Uh, somebody mentioned that they just added the the button to get back to your homepage. So I that must be relatively new. But I I like it. But it's the going back to your homepage, like looking at your shop window, um, is the only way I have been able to find how to get to my purchases and how to leave a review. I do not know how to access that information from this new dashboard yet. So it takes some hacking. And that's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to go through, those of you that have the new dashboard, click on everything. You can't break it. I want you to click through and see what you can see and explore all of it. Um, like the little, oh look at my little shop advisor is saying that I have a listing that's gonna expire. And I can just click renew and it's going to auto renew it for me. That's fantastic. Aw, sorry, Gail. Yeah, Facebook's being super dumb right now. I feel bad. I was doing that earlier, only it wouldn't show, uh, it wasn't showing me my only my own comments. It was showing me everybody else's except mine on another thread. Good, I'm glad you guys have been exploring. You can't, you can't break it. So just click around, you know, try to, try to find out as much as you can. Um, like I don't use production assistance, but it says find a partner, manage projects, get started. There's community help. So it's easy now to get to the teams, um, the forums, the Etsy help book, the seller handbook, um, shipping help, cases, all of that. There, there wasn't even a cases tab before, I don't think. I've had cases opened against me. I don't, I remember, I always clicked on it via, through the, the email that Etsy sends you and it's like, there's a case opened against you. I would click it through there. I didn't even remember there being a cases tab and now there is one. What happens when I click that? Open cases. You don't have any open cases reported by you. And you don't have any open about your shop. Cool. Closed cases. That's cool. Yeah, you can now see, um, I just clicked on community help, and then after community help, I, I clicked cases, and then there's two tabs. There's cases reported by you, and there's cases reported about you. I clicked on cases reported about me, and then I clicked on closed cases, and I could see all the cases that have ever been opened against me, ever which when you look at it that way, it's kind of a lot. But most of them aren't my fault. Most of them are, uh, it says it was delivered, it was marked as delivered and customers claiming they don't have it. So Etsy auto closes those. And then a couple of them, actually the customer closed it themselves. That's cool. I've never been able to see my case history. And that's another thing, it's, it's just like your reviews. This is good information, even though it's bad because it's a case opened up against you, there's got to be something that you can improve in your process that could potentially eliminate more of these from happening. Um, yeah, under community and help. If you click community and help, uh, then there's cases is like two thirds of the way down. There's just the word cases. And then there's two tabs, cases you've opened. Um, oh, it's not added to all the shops yet. See, they're just, it's, it's hard. I, I thought that more people were going to have it. Like, I don't see, um, there's also going to be a tab called customers where we get all kinds of information about our customers, but I don't have that one yet. Um, what about settings? Settings is your standard info and appearance about your shop options, shipping settings, production partners. Yes, love. So what is that? R. Yeah, but I made it with these. You made the letter R? Good job. You're so smart. I'm going to make a house. You're going to make a house? Yeah. 
Oh, okay. You know where I found this? Where'd you found this? Behind the bed. What? I got it. That's crazy. Sorry. <laughs> um, then down at the bottom, it'll show your name, sign out, your profile, your account information. Um, but this is going to be slowly rolling out more and more information that is going to be able to help you in the long run. Um, did I click conversations? I meant to click dashboard. <sighs> but yeah, so for those of you that logged in later, I'm just going over the dashboard. Um, yes. Oh. That's our door. Oh, that's our door? Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Do you want to say hi? Thanks. Okay. Um, I was going over the new dashboard setup. Some people have the option to opt in right now, or if you click on stats, I believe it's in your stats page, it's going to give you like that orange news bar that's like, try out our new stats manager, or shop manager, what have you. What happens if I just click that button? Oh! Apparently, for those of us who have it, there's a little drop down menu. See, this is why I'm saying to click everything, because I just noticed that there's a shop manager button at the top. It says shop manager, Etsy marketplace, and Etsy studio. So Etsy Marketplace just takes you to the regular Etsy homepage when you log in. Etsy Studio takes you to Etsy Studio. Discover supplies, tassels, cookie cutters, upholstery, fabric, and more. So they're just trying to like make everything. This is pretty much Etsy doing backlinks like we tell you guys to do in your listings. They are trying to give you as many informational clicking links as possible in one section and it is beautiful um, and there are going to be you're gonna be seeing less views possibly in your stats than you're used to so if you're used to getting 500 or 100 views a day and all of a sudden you see that drop to like 50 well you know 50 if you had a hundred or my, my point is if you see it drop down it is not because your product suddenly sucks it is not because all of a sudden nobody wants your stuff or you did something wrong. It is because they are doing a new thing where there is a difference between views versus visits. A view is anytime somebody opens up a link for three to five seconds, looks at your listing, looks at your homepage, looks at another listing. Those all counted as three different views. Visits are now if people stay on your page, look through page two, look through a couple listings, Views dropping, they can't go any lower. <laughs> well, there's got to be something you can do to get those views up. But yes, they could, they could drop. And it's not that they're, it's not that you're being seen less. It's just that there's going to be a difference between what counts as a view and what counts as a visit. If somebody lingers on your page for a while, that is going to be a visit, which is good. You want people to linger. Lingering usually checks out in a sale, but this is how it's going to benefit you because if it doesn't check out in a sale, you'll be able to analyze where they came from. Did they come from an international uh, country? Did they come from a cell phone? Did they come from a laptop? What is it that didn't feed their need for them to click buy? So I totally appreciate all of you putting up with me for uh, the past hour of trying to even get logged in. <laughs> and trying to even figure out, you know, I was having technical difficulties. So if you don't have the new dashboard, we could see a drop in views too. Yes, whether or not you have the new dashboard is separate from the fact of Etsy trying to register or switch people over from views to visits. Um, they do everything in batches, which it seems like a pain on our end because everybody wants to, I'm trying to teach everybody everything and not everybody has it. But I don't know how the batches are going out. I don't know if they're doing it by, bless you, I don't know if they're doing it by sections like jewelry people, then cloth people. I don't know if they're doing it by who had a shop first. I don't know if they're doing it by region, if they're doing it by state. I have no idea how they're updating these. But you have to keep in mind that there are hundreds of thousands of sellers. And anything with this kind of technical, you know, when you deal with technology and you're trying to update people, you can't just say, hey, everybody that's on Etsy now has this new setup. It'll crash stuff. It just it breaks everything. So they have to do it in batches. Is there a setting we need to change to accept the guest checkout? Yes. Well, not really. Um, not to accept guest checkout. As long as you have um, 
DC setup, direct checkout on Etsy, everybody needs to have their direct checkout linked by May 18th. If you do not have, you cannot be PayPal only anymore. If you do not have Etsy checkout or direct checkout, whatever they change the terminology to, if you do not have that by May 18th, you will be shut down. They'll just deactivate your shop until you turn on that payment method. If you have that payment method selected, you can now have guest checkout. And what happens when you get a guest checkout is they just don't have a username. It shows, uh, okay, Etsy payments. Yeah, that. Um, it shows their name that they put on the shipping, and then it shows the word guest. Um, when you get a notification on your phone, if you see, like, I think I just got one from, like, at yahoo.com. Anytime you see a payment received from at an email address, that's a guest checkout. Um, and it's cool. Like, I have 45,000 sales, and I was still super excited when I got my first guest checkout, just because it's something new. <laughs> and that's great for impulse buyers. Yeah, it shows the word guest. It'll show the person's name, and then in parentheses, it'll show guest. Yay! Uh, I'm fairly certain it's the 18th. No matter what, I mean, shit, go turn that stuff on today. <laughs> Better turn it on now and be safe than sorry. You found that in your dress-up trunk? Yep. Um, let's see. Well, let's look at... Let's try... Okay, community help. Let's do Etsy help. Etsy payments. Etsy payments requirements. I'm going to send a link. Ah, oh, dang, you're right, Melissa. It's the 17th. I hate when I'm wrong. Okay. So this is the new payment article. Um, so it says, uh, starting May 17th, all sellers in eligible countries will be required to sign up for Etsy payments, formerly known as direct checkout. If you accepted direct checkout in your shop, you do not need to take any action. Zip, zilch, nada you will automatically be uh, enrolled in the new Etsy payments. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa. Um, Etsy payments is the main way to get paid on Etsy and it allows you to offer multiple payment options to your buyers. Etsy payments has the same processing fee structure as the old direct checkout. So you have your 20 cent listing fee, your 3% um, Etsy payment fee, and then your direct checkout percentage fee. If you accepted payments via direct checkout in the past, there are no changes to your fees with Etsy payments. If uh, To see if Etsy payments is available where you live, check here in that link that provided below. Uh, and you can learn more. Doo -doo -doo. You also now have the option to choose between daily, weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly disbursements of payments. So you can get paid every day if you want. You can get paid once a month if you want. If you want to rack up all your Etsy income for a month and get paid once a month, more power to you. I personally like get paid weekly because that's just how I've always been paid, so I like that. Um, and then apparently there's certain minimums. So like if you're in Australia, your minimum, you have to have at least $25. Otherwise you have to do it weekly. Um, PayPal options. If you weren't already enrolled in direct checkout, you'll need to sign up for Etsy payments by May 17th. May 17th. Do, do, do. And then there's more information below. So, yeah. That's pretty much all the changes that they've got right now. What are you doing? My daughter has her little veil on. Do you have your skirt on, too? Uh, Ashley? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, she's so cute. Okay. But are there any other questions of people that have the new shop manager? Um, I'm probably going to have to do another video on this because they're going to be rolling out with more and more. And since some of you guys don't have it, it's kind of hard to follow along. And it's probably like I'm speaking gibberish. But that's because I just speak gibberish. But anyway, it feels good to be back. And I really appreciate you guys joining me and... Um, I'm going to try to be back every Tuesday. I'm going to try to wait as long as I can before getting the hernia surgery because that's going to throw another ripple in all these videos and stuff. Usually do them every Tuesday at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It is not usually 3.30. I am so sorry. But 
Uh, it's usually at 3 o'clock on the Club Flourish wall, Eastern Standard Time. Um, I do do shop critiques, and um, if anybody wants to check out my own shop that I've got, to, to check out my sales and my credentials, uh, it's Faux Ferocity, F-A-U-X-F-E-R-O-C-I-T-Y on Etsy. Um, there I've racked up over 45,000 sales, over 6,500 uh, five-star reviews, and that is why I have what is called the Shop Doc. It's the shopdoc.co. I do shop critiques. I do mentor calls. I do coaching calls. Um, I do all kinds of things. I have mini critiques. Um, and I'm actually running a sale right now for you mamas in Flourish. Guys can use it too. I'm not here to judge. But I've got a Mother's Day sale going on that if you use Flourish Mom on the shopdoc.co, you'll get $10 off your shop critique, the video shop critique. You'll get $10 off the video shop critique or a coaching call only until this Sunday. Um, so that's the shopdoc.co. Go get you some. Get your mamas. Save some money for being a mama. You don't really have to be a mom. You know, whatever. What, what am I going to do? Come and check and see if you've got kids? <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. I love that I'm back. Um, I'm going to say to post questions in the comments, and I'm going to try to answer them all. I'm going to apologize ahead of time if Facebook does not let me see that comment. I am not ignoring you. And feel free to PM me with anything that you feel was missed or to tag me on the wall anytime. All right, you guys. I will talk to you next Tuesday. Bye.